Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World of Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 77. Um, I want to apologize, by the way, to anybody who did not get their ship name in the game. So the ships that we built were getting towards the end. We'll probably build some more light cruisers. Um, probably, like I said, we might even go back to the Valkyrie. If not the Valkyrie herself, we'll go back to a design that's similar to her. Since the apparently the 5 inch dual purpose gun is just not going to cut it for us. Uh, which is a little bit disappointing. It's kind of stupid, I think, that <laughs> a CLAA such as the Atlanta is inferior to something which does not have its main armament as, as dual purpose guns. Um, maybe that's historical, though. I don't know enough about anti-aircraft and, and its effectiveness. Anyway, what's going on? Well, we're now blockading Britain. Things are just going exceptionally well in this war. We haven't really, are we, we have not taken any territory. We definitely, we definitely don't have the money to invade or anything like that, but, uh, we have a lot of aircraft, which we probably should be doing something about. But I, I'm kind of, the air balance stuff is all just, it's all a work in progress. So I think the next series, I, I think I've talked about this several times, but I believe the next series will be a cooperative, collaborative effort with Historical Gamer and Next Year G now. And that means that I think um, that'll be as Russia, I believe. And I'm, I like that because it's going to give the, the game time to be polished. Kind of the cool thing is, I don't know how the turn order will go. In fact, if you have some ideas about how the turn order should go. The first one went THG, myself, and the next tier G. That was a lot of fun. I don't know if we should maybe go in the reverse order, but at the same time, like from an exposure standpoint, it might be better to get Historical Gamer in there first, or maybe just let X tier G lead off the series. I don't know. Or maybe I should lead off the series. I went through all the options now, right? So, <laughs> could be any one of those three. One of us three will have to lead off the series. All right, there's my two and a half minute, not bad, just two and a half minute spiel. So we have no money. I want to build a bigger dock size, but that's fine. Um, I don't know what I would... Is there anything we can really do? I don't know if there's anything worth researching. What... I think 1942 actually has a lot of research that unlocks, but let's take our research. How, mu how much money is it? It's not going to be a whole lot. It's going to be like a million we save. It's something. We'll go down to 10%. There's diminishing returns at 11 and 12, I'm pretty sure. So maintenance cost is pretty high. I'm not sure there's anything we can do about that, though. It's not really the right time to be scrapping ships. We could put this guy back on hold. I think we'll do that. There we go. And by the way, last episode, not even last episode, four episodes ago now, but the last time we were in the strategic map mode and hit end turn, we had like a hundred and something uh, uh, convoy kills. Okay, the turbines was damaged but not destroyed. Thank goodness. Can't believe I still can't believe they killed the Sturmbringer. They're getting dangerously close. <laughs> wow, six months. Jeez. So there it is, 100. <laughs> Thank you so much to the people who recommended I move to Unrestricted. I have not made a better decision in this entire series than moving to Coastal Submarines and going to Unrestricted. That has been so effective. Like, good gracious. We know how to do it now. They're still sinking 12, I mean, 12, 19, it's like 30, it's like a, a quarter. But um, they're still seeing a lot. Um, where is that? Northern Europe. Okay, so we, we'll have to get some, maybe a fast battleship, maybe one of our 
four year Dracas. We'll have to go to trade protection. Um, I'm really tempted just to decline all these battles. This is not supposedly in. I want to accept the ones in Northern, but. Let me suppress enemy airfields. I, uh. Oh, this is nice. Well, actually, be close. So, um. Interesting. I was thinking, wow. We have no escorts. What the bloody hell? Cruiser battle. They say cruiser battle. We have literally no cruisers in this. Wait. That's not true. We do have cruisers. They're just, you know. I didn't do the, you know, it's just instinct. I didn't change our search parameters. They're going to go 300 whatever range, and which is way too far. We still, don't have, we still don't have control yet. When we do, we're going to make a hard turn this way. Let's get you guys up to... Whoop, okay, you're going to do your thing. That's fine. Okay, you're going to do your thing as well. Okay, contact report. Three cruisers. Probably three battle cruisers. These are the French. I'm going to guess these are the French. Let's go ahead and give them a, a, a nice warm welcome. Ready, strike. And... Oh, okay, we only have... Uh, no, no, we do have two. Oh my god, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, still three carriers. We're always down one carrier. So if we're lucky here, oh, by the way, get these guys to heavy. If we're lucky here, we will actually um, be able to hit them before they enter visual range. Okay, we've got a cap over us. Ah, so there's definitely a lot going on. I'm sure that if we don't ready our strike very quickly, they're ready. Okay, good. So let's coordinate the strike. And let's go for it. It's going to be a long time. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, I'll click here, but let's actually go and use this report as the one we attack. Okay, so this exceeds the... by two. So we'll get these seven torpedo bombers off. And we'll launch that strike, 7 p.m. That's a long time. Wait, time at target is 640. That's still a long time. <laughs> it's not even five o'clock yet, so it's gonna be two hours. But I think let's, I think that's still fine. Yes. And also, probably they're going to attack the ships in front anyway, right? So you're getting ready and flying. You guys are not flying yet. Okay, so let's get the ones that are ready. I think this will be too many. 58, we're off by 6. Yeah, we'll hold back these 11 torpedo bombers as well. Um, I'll actually manually do this one. I believe that report, by the way. And launch strike. Okay, those guys already had... I was waiting for the heavy, medium, heavy load dive bomber thing, but they had... I forgot, I already changed them. Okay, good. So we're good. Now we just wait for those to start doing their thing, taking off, and then we go in. And by the way, you guys should speed up. So I said that the um, British don't have any ships left, but I guess that's not entirely true, is it? No, actually we want to be on this side, because this is the wind side. Right, it's just so funny that we have no escorts. Okay, here comes the... This is perfect. 
I don't have my sound on. Right, let me turn my own speakers on. Get them on. So they're over here. Wow, it's happening really early. Let's get my radar range up. Okay, so radar range is not going to be any better than visual. They're doing good work already. Wow, they're hitting a carrier? Three bombs hit, bomb hits on the carrier. I have to, I'm led to believe that's a very effective <laughs> bombing attack. So up here, so let's go further west. We might actually have missed them to the, we might be east of them. And they actually are, but it said time on target was 640. And it's 5.30 either way, so these guys have arrived quite early. I didn't really pay attention about the cap either. There's been like no exchange with the cap. But three bomb hits, some aircraft were being destroyed, but it's time for us to go in. Lots of torpedo hits, lots of bombs dropping. Transports. So this is not a transport mission. Another carrier or heavy cruiser. We're limited to 26 knots, anyways. That's actually kind of nice to see. Apparently, there is a battleship in the area, and we hit it two bombs. Good job. You guys are really going to work, man. I, the funny thing is that we don't have that many dive bombers. We have more, a lot more torpedo bombers, but they're definitely getting the most hits. How many? I mean, this is very, very good. Yeah, I think that we've landed like five torpedoes so far. A lot more bombs. Okay, and the torpedo bombers are like, you hear that? Tor Tor Torpids is talking about us and he's not in a favorable way. Keep waiting to see the... Wow, that's a lot of torpedoes, actually. There it is. I was waiting for us to spot an unknown ship. Finally happened. I'm happy that we're a little bit south of them because... Actually, I guess at this point... Is it time for us to launch our second wave? Let's see what's let's see where we're at here. Yeah, we're still coming in with more things. I don't know what this is. What CA I bomb one that we can barely see. Nice. We are starting to land our 16-inch shells as well. CA bomb hit again on the same one. Music to my ears. So I, I'm wondering if this was a scout force. Ah, it is the French. Victor Hugo class, 1940. 12 9 inch guns. Obviously, she doesn't stand up very well against our battle cruisers. I think it is time to launch our lone remaining friendly group over here. Launch. And likewise, with our lone remainder over here, actually we have some back here. Well, not really. We have fighters, but I'm not gonna launch them. So we'll get these guys to, well, shoot, it was the same places where I wanna attack, actually. I wonder why it didn't give me an option to actually use my aircraft against the enemy fleet, because at this point, we would actually be able to... We're, this is the closest battle to our air bases. Why wouldn't it give me an option? This is the one I actually could have done something with. Okay, we'll launch. Dusk is fine. It's not even at night. I mean, I guess we can polish off these ships while they're going down. The flag reports are actually hindering my ability to see anything else. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy's dead. That's why he stopped. Yeah. Okay, so let's um, let's, ch let's change our fire to the other ship, and then actually, what we'll do is just turn off our guns. Wow, 
Got hits right away, too. Alright, now we have him. Um, this guy's probably dead. He is dead. Okay, so. Now that we see that this is going on, let's switch fire yet again to the next cruiser, which I'm going to guess is a light cruiser. And probably that is a carrier. Apparently a damaged carrier. They're launching our secondary guns attacks, that's fine. Yeah, these guys are training much too quickly to be anything but escorts. Although, if I'm not mistaken, the carrier is already dead. Yep, definitely not a carrier. Certainly it's just a Corvette. And it's already dead. 22, so it's a, you know, I mean, it's not a light carrier, but it's 23,000 tons. It's an early carrier, I would say. We still don't know what this is. We don't want to get too close. I mean... There's almost no point in us continuing the battle, right? Okay, well, I mean, we can sink some destroyers and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, feel free to fire your will, really. Do whatever you want. <laughs> There's nothing left for us to attack. We, we, we have actually sank everything. I thought there was a battleship somewhere. Oh my gosh. You, you shouldn't have. Yeah. It's brutal. Well, I don't know if they had another carrier, but holy cow. Thing has been hit so many times. I think we'll go up to fast. They even got a, a destroyer. That's a new one. Just trying to make sure that there's nothing else alive up here. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's go back to port. Good fight. Good night. Not going to bother with the rest of them. Oh, good. She survived. Yeah, that was actually... That was it. That was a rather unfair fight, if you ask me. Probably that's because my fast battleships count as battlecruisers, and they enter these fights. <laughs> One carrier versus three. Three heavy cruisers versus two battleships. And the outcome was known before the battle even began. So we're um, continuing to wear them down. We're now blockading both enemies. Not Add that to the fact that we're also... Look, I can actually unhalt this. Um, on top of that, we're, we're sinking almost all of them. All their merchant ships with our submarines as well okay so we're currently doing a torpedo bomber and we have one of each so let's just look what are my dive bombers they are using 1400 pound bombs that's just so heavy man one of those hits is probably just I, I guess one will not destroy a ship but good liability which I'm happy to see we might think about doing more dive bombers. We've been very torpedo heavy, but I think around this time, dive bombers are going to start to become better. How did that happen? My monthly balance was higher than my funds. Okay, amphibious invasions. Well, it's kind of irrelevant at this point. Yeah, okay. Ah, new flying boat. Faster? 
Yeah, the range we have on this existing one is just insane. Much better firepower, slightly better toughness. Wow, two 2,000 pound bombs. I have to say it is good. I'm going to buy it. Hundred and twelve. Woo. Okay, France is really having a hard time. I have this dream that France will collapse and then England will be spared any territory. <laughs> uh What even happened to our invasion? Okay. Nothing. Apparently nothing happened there. Like, what is actually going on with this invasion? It's the longest invasion ever. They've been fighting on the beaches for five months now. Still haven't advanced. Now, I mean, obviously it's way over here. This is way inland that we could presume that the, the fighting is tense. How far did I, what was it? It was like D-Day. How long did it take them to get over here? They landed in June and Christmas was uh, the surrounding, which is already here. Yeah, that, that's a lot of, yeah, okay, so. Now that was against a German army that was already, it was pretty weak and defeated in the West, but. All right, so let's halt this guy again. He's probably like, oh, on off, on off, make up your mind. I wish we could. Um, best fire control, we'll say no to this because they have our best fire control. This is like the radar, but I think they'll get it automatically. Okay, we have 20 inch guns. New Japanese torpedo bomber is faster than our, our torpedo bomber. Great Britain's having a hard time. Oh, look at this. Large liner is sunk by British submarines. So it's funny because um, Alfonso has been doing a lot of, or Alvaro, sorry, has been doing a lot of role playing about how hospital ships are being sunk. Well, it's true. The British submarines actually are sinking neutrals. 104. It's just, it, it's just insane. <laughs> mm, no, I don't want to fight that. If it's not in support of, I guess I can fight. No, I don't want to fight it anymore. I will fight no more forever. Yeah, see, now it's, we'll wait one more month. We're actually doing this. We're actually winning this war. <laughs> okay, awesome. New prototypes ready. Wow, they are much better. <laughs> They're much better. They actually carry a torpedo on only a medium load now, which is insane. Highest toughness. Immediately what I'm looking at is this one. It's good. It's in fact it's good enough. It's actually amazing. So the Fock Wolf FW276 will be our end game torpedo bomber. Just I think it stands out. Better medium range. I mean these things are going to be carrying torpedoes so far now. The Boeing Boomerang is entering service. This is rumored to be faster than our fastest dive bomber. Two enemy submarines, good. Hit him, no, the Stachel Swine. 107, my gosh. Oh, battle in support of land combat. Well, then we have to accept. We'll tell them to attack enemy ships near objective. What do we have going on here? Three destroyers. Okay, it is summer-ish, so this won't be darkness for very long. Let's put on our radar. 
which actually has very good visibility. Okay, there we go. Okay, no limit on our speed. Sure, both destroy. No, that's a destroyer. Come on, our radar is actually like level two or something, level three. We should actually be getting reasonable contact reports. Look, don't fire torpedoes unless I tell you. Okay, that's the second one. They're turning around way too quickly, so they're definitely destroyers. We only have four inch guns on these. They're meant as support destroyers. I feel like it's the Jaws theme playing. Okay. Nice hits. Good. Nice. Okay, they actually did finally hit us back, but we've landed enough hits that I'm going to continue going here. Oh, good, good, good. Because we had the... We started... We got them... We got them first, basically. So when you get them first, you usually usually win the rest. Yeah, and we are. I'm gonna even pursue these guys. Oh, squad max actually is 30. We hit something we can't see. Interesting. Are we able to target with our guns, our radar now? Doing quite a number on these guys. I think we're gonna get this one. She's definitely slow. We'll find them eventually. Wait for her next turn. And go. Turret destroyed. Hey, at least it wasn't both the turrets being destroyed at once, as usual. Another turret destroyed. I think we're okay, though. We might be able to let her go. I guess let's finish her off. Oop, here comes the next one. Good hits. Holy cow, good hits. Really good hits. Enough that we're going to go in for another round just to finish her off. She may have saved her buddy, though, so it may have been an effective defense. Well, there's no hope for her. Okay, let's go back and find the other ships. Okay, that's fine. That guy can limp away. And we get points for sinking those ships, so we need to we need to go back and get them done. Somewhere down here. Got them. <laughs> okay. Allow for volley fire into the the horde of transports. Just run them through. God, it's a massacre. It's a massacre. I think we're going to end up winning this one. And the most important thing will be that if we can actually get this invasion to trigger. It would truly be like the, uh, the ultimate victory. If we were able to show the British people that not only can we... We won't even just take things in a peace agreement... We will take things direct. Oh god. Oh, nope, those are merchants. They're all sinking. I don't think there's any AMC here. Let's make one last pass. Split the uprights, and. 
they're not targeting them. I think that means that they're already dead. So, we'll move on out. Let's go this way. In fact, you know what? I would head home, but we're not going to. We're just going to head this way. No flooding. Okay, good. Just going to head away from everything. We're going to head home to Iceland. It's, it's just time we visit over there. Just want to get away from their aircraft. But yeah, I think we are going to be much farther away than we need to be by the time they start rolling out. Very good, so that's gonna help the uh, the invasion, supposedly. God knows what it actually does, I don't know, but in theory at least, should help. And I don't know if any of them survive, no. I have to end immediately, otherwise it won't give me credit. So we didn't even have a chance to see what they had, but uh, it was a victory. We got points. I don't know if it scored credit for the invasion or not, but eh, it doesn't matter too much. We're blockading both of them. They're going to collapse eventually anyway. Of course, it would be nice to take uh, Norway because it's worth a lot of points. Value of 8, which is probably like the total number of points we'll get for the, uh, for the victory. Okay, I probably won't fight another battle. Uh, we have what, like one more month? Okay, one more month. This ship is somewhat overweight. So it's 28. That's still fine. 28 is good. Improved air search radar. Very good. Submarine, supermarine battle. Very fast medium bomber. Oh, whoops. We did an, an, a boo-boo. Fourteen. That's insane. Friendly VP from Trade Warfare. What? Oh, right. That's yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, then decline. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. We don't want our victory points reset. Although I'm not. Wait. What happened? They're not being blockaded anymore? 290... Uh, the British have 148 somehow. Yeah. Actually, no. Corvettes don't count. 5 times say 15... plus 24, so let's call that 40. How do they have 148 points? DDs are worth 1, so let's call that 30. AMCs are worth 0. I'm calling the... So the two cruisers, I don't know how many CVLs are worth, but let's call them probably worth... Let's just say 5. So it's 30 plus 35 plus the two cruisers together are 40. That's 100. And then one battle cruiser and two battleships, which is like maybe 30. And if I'm being very generous at every step of the way, they get it up to like maybe 130, maybe 140. There's no way they're at 148. Did I not count right? Or are CVLs worth like 10 each? <laughs> Give them five points each. I, I think if they're listed in order of how many points, they're three points or four points because CLs are four. Or sorry, no, CLs are three for sure. All right, well, we're going to have a lot of money now, so might as well build up the docks and resume that. Okay, so let me look at these with the newest. So what are you saying? Oh, we do actually have a better electro. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, we don't really need it anyway. What? <laughs> <sighs> we won every battle we blockaded them I 
I'm not gonna reverse this. I'm just a, I'm a defeated man. With the uh, defeat of that, re um, re Admiral Torturpitz resigns. Yep. He blames himself. So it is with a heavy heart that I announce the resignation of Admiral Torturpitz Sr. from his role as director of the fleet, which has been happening for 43 years now. Ha, <laughs> the Motobamas. <laughs> We've lost the will to fight. Our fleet doesn't know what to do. It's a little bit of disarray. There's not, we're not, it's not very clear to us who the, the next Admiral should be. A lot of people talk about Admiral Torturbitz Jr. But he's only been commanding the Air Force side of things. There is a, what was it, the other name? Who do people say was the other one? Was it Raider? I don't know much about Raider. I, I somehow think I remember that he wasn't that bad of a guy. I mean, of, of the Nazis. And he was eventually replaced by Donuts, wasn't he? Who was maybe not a nice guy. I can't remember exactly, though. It's hard to piece together who was good and who wasn't. Anyway, so the Hitlerish party uh, is promoting their admiral for for the role. Uh, it's kind of a power struggle. The Kaiser, the new young Kaiser, he's kind of an a-hole. Wilhelm the Third, apparently he was kind of a cocky guy. <clears throat> and then there's. Uh, Let's say the Kaiser the Second's grand nephew, who historically almost ascended um, in place of Hitler. I think he was a kind of cool guy. Or no. Gosh, I forgot. We had John talking about the uh, royal. Who was the one who was talking about the royal prince? The new prince, who's not an a-hole? Yeah, he's the... He's a reformist in charge. Uh, he's, he's promoting a more democratic government. It's time for uh, a change in ways. Hitler and his entourage don't see it that way. Wow. It happened. My hair started standing up on the back of my neck. <laughs> the government of Great Britain has collapsed in revolution. The Prime Minister has been deposed. They have been forced to accept harsh peace conditions. And the German signs... <laughs> Ten points. Okay, well, let's take Norway. Because, you know... Or we could take Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I think I like Norway better. It's more like, it feels right. Are we going to do anything with the other two points? Um, yeah, these are all Great Britain. So if France had collapsed, apparently we, we wouldn't have had a chance to take French stuff. We could get a, a base in eastern on the east coast Bermuda it's actually a pretty easy base to defend it's far enough away that you wouldn't face the huge air onslaught I might not do that but for now I'm just going to select it well we don't need to do Egypt it's in a rebellion isn't it Solomon Islands is probably a more natural choice. That's in the South Pacific, but... I can't remember where New Providence is. I 
think it's in the Caribbean. Let's go with the Grand Bahama as well. Bermuda, Grand Bahama. I'd prefer to pick the one that's further away. I'm, you know what? Let me just, oh yeah, yeah, there's a, apparently you can load Rule the Waves on two separate instances. I'm still here. So let's just pick anybody for a moment. Okay. We're back as the United States in 1900. Just to use the map. Trinidad would be a better choice. Well, tr I guess it is better, slightly better. New Providence is slightly better than Bahama. Jamaica is five points, we can't take it. Otherwise, if we can get Trinidad, which I think, yeah, it's value of two points, it means that we wouldn't be able to get um, Bermuda, which is actually still, I mean, it's a really nice place. Like I said, it's so far away, I, we wouldn't have that, but it, it's more foreign tonnage requirements. We're not gonna be fighting any more wars. Basically, this is coming to a close, so. I don't know, I'm gonna close this real fast to see it. Make sure, yeah, nothing happened, that's fine. Okay, so we'll, we'll take, um, what was I just talking about? Trinidad, instead. Whoops. Instead of Bermuda. So Norway and Trinidad. We didn't really kill much of the French anyway, so I feel like it is kind of fitting. I can't believe we actually caused the British government to collapse, so Torturbits had the last laugh. After his retirement, he, you know, he sunk, but in the peace negotiations, the German diplomats finally got on their feet, did something right, and the victory, nor and especially in Norway, dedicated to Admiral Tertrupet Sr., now retired. Never mind. French wants to keep fighting. <laughs> we got a new model of the fighter, which was already very good. It's slightly faster, slightly more firepower. Okay, slightly better range. I don't care. Just have lost the will to fight. This is near our new bases. <laughs> it is a large, but no, I don't. I don't want to fight anymore. Oh yeah, we will accept this one. Battle and support alone. What the hell? Get me out of here! Oh my god. I didn't even know actually that you can control corvettes. So that's news to me. He's a goner, by the way. He's not going to make it. That's why they wanted to fight on, because they want to invade my colony. Well, if they take it, we'll just take it back. So, whatever. <laughs> Run away. It's a cruiser. Oh, my gosh. That's not good. Do we do it? Do we escape? They're not gonna get my Corvette. Just waiting for the lock. Oh my gosh, he actually did catch us. Oh, we only go 18. Not too surprising, I suppose. All right, good. I, I just don't want to fight this one. Okay, um, they're gonna fight. Well, it's gonna be a lot of unpausing, I'm afraid. They're 
not going to get my Corvette, though. What the hell? They have a battle cruiser here, too? I mean, actually, that probably was a... How are we striking mines? This is our area! Anyway, uh, I might just finish this battle up off camera because, yeah, we're just going to finish dealing with the French, whether or not they take this or not. I mean, uh, we're so many points ahead. Their government's pretty close to collapse as well. I don't think it's a big deal. I'd rather them not take it just as a point of pride. It's painful. Painful to me. But I'm not that, I'm not that torn up about it. Three hundred more minutes. <laughs> My gosh. I think this is a defeat, but I don't know. Those are some crazy reports. <laughs> if they've spotted carriers somehow. Okay, there it is. Major victory. They sank that. They did have a battle cruiser. Well, look, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't want to complain too much. I've been put in some battles that I couldn't win either, but sending a Corvette up against a battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser, and three destroyers, like there's David and Goliath, and then there's that. But that's okay. We'll call this video to a close here. So we'll see how the war goes. Japan may join for all we know. Who knows? But <laughs> maybe it, the war could last so long that the UK is brought back in. <laughs> that would be funny. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. And uh, the rest of the series is going to line up probably like this. We'll end this war. We'll do the little role play and we'll bring it to a close. So for now, thanks for watching and take care.